good morning guys from Basra after uh, quite the night's journey we're up in the middle of the night because it's about 4 30 a.m. or almost 5 a.m. now I took a train here now we just showed up at a random hotel that Luke found and we're gonna see if we can get checked in and hang out for a bit because we don't actually have a reservation but the door's open so that's a good sign Salam Alaikum uh, how much is a room? 100? Yes. Got 100 ready for you, boss. 100 bones. Yeah, 100 bones. Come on, two bed, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and how, mu how much is that? Two, two bed. 58. 58. 58. 58. Oh, it's a solid, solid price. <sighs> Shukran. Got them all in there? Yeah. All in. What'd you get? Sold two hits? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right near the elevator. That's perfect. Got the full-on suite in here. All right, sweet. Nice. Well, this looks great. Shukran. Let's get her fired up. Thank you. Shukran. So this is what 100,000 gets you. Yeah, three bedroom here. I'm surprised though, he told us that tomorrow we can get two beds for 58,000. That's a pretty significant drop just to get one of these out of here. No, 58 dollars. Oh, $58, $58. You can go book through booking.com. That's the trick, you gotta go through booking.com. But because uh, we literally didn't think we were going to be here at 4.30 a.m. We didn't really have a yeah, choice. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But we're safe, so that's most important. Yeah, oh, this is sweet. Oh, we got some morning workers. Salam alaikum. Pretty big building over there. Yeah, it seems like is starting to come to life. But I'm definitely not, so it's time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in a few hours when we wake up at... 5, 9, 10 a.m., something like that. Fast forward about seven hours later, guys. We are all rested up. It's time to go check out Basra. Found a few things to do around here. Gonna kind of see, first of all, uh, what there is uh, in terms of cafes. Uh, hello. After cafes, we'll be uh, exploring Basra, so let's do it. Here's the uh, hotel we walked into just a few hours back. Salam alaikum. All right, heading into Basra. Gotta find ourselves a uh, taxi. There's our hotel from the outside. Oh, almost got hit by a car there. Gonna die. Already survived the train, all right? I gotta survive Basra, you know? Quite a bit of trash around here, though. Did you find any cafes? Yes, I did. I can't remember the name of it, though. All right, well, it'll be a surprise once we get there. See what we can find. Oh, it's called Nook. Oh, Nook. N-O-O-K. Nook, that sounds like a good spot. Oh, taxi? Yeah, do you speak English? No. Uh, yeah, that is the... Uh, eh? Okay. Yeah, Yalla. Yalla? Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What's your name? Sajal. Sajal? Mac. Nice to meet you, Sajal. That must be the main hotel. We got the Basra Hotel. Towering over the city. Sleimani's Grand Millennium is Basra's hotel. Wow, look at this building right there. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but it looks like a couple missiles hit the top of it at some point. Local fire station there. Must be in like right downtown in Basra. A lot going on down here. Good news is, is uh, so far the traffic is a little more lax than uh, back in Baghdad, where that same distance we just went would have taken like 45 minutes. And now it's uh, free flowing traffic, which is uh, good news here. Around the same time, because I feel like in when we are in Baghdad, we are traveling to the city around 12, no, probably closer to one, and it was just insane. And uh, it's also during the week right now too, so. I think we are one street away. Oh yeah, because we're seeing other coffee shops right there. We got uh, Location Coffee there. Quite a few food shops in this area too. Falafel, I am getting hungry. All right, so about a uh, 10 minute or so ride for 5,000. And that comes out to like $3.70. So I'd say pretty average price for uh, taxis that we've had throughout Kurdistan and Iraq. Now we are walking over to our spot here. Definitely much more low key. You found it? Yeah. Nuke, there it is. Yalla. Oh yeah, it looks like it's gonna have a sweet design. Oh yeah. Nuke underscore Iraq. Oh yeah. Wow, it smells really good in here. Very nice uh, atmosphere in here. Let's see. Hello. Salam alaikum. Good coffee? Yeah. Oh, yes. Can I have a green smoothie? Yeah. It's healthy. Healthy? Yeah. Oh yes, I need that because I've had a lot of kebabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Do you have iced coffee? Uh, iced coffee. Yeah. Perfect. I'll have uh, iced coffee, green smoothie. Yeah. Iced coffee, latte caramel ice. Ooh, perfect. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
آه آيس كراميلات هو آه قليل من الشوكولاتة. Oh yes, that sounds great. Yum. What is it? Crepe? Oh, cheese paratha. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take one. Yeah. Well, you're in heaven, bro. I see why you picked this place now. Eight. Actually, I'll take a brownie and a cheese. Yeah, we've definitely got to get our photos up on there, bro. Where's the camera? Ah, that's that's the one. Yeah. That's how we take the photo. No paper. Oh. Well, we were hoping we could be on this wall, but I don't know if we're going to be that lucky today. Thank you. All right, you can keep the change. Keep the change. Oh, shukran. All right, so we should probably dig in first here with the uh, green smoothie. Try that one out. Oh, upside down. Oh, missed it. Third time's a charm. Oh yeah, that is healthy. Very tasty. I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Maybe like spinach, apples, bananas, a couple other things, but very nice. Now we've got a little uh, cheese. It almost looks like a cheese pizza, actually. Right here. Let's try that out. Mmm, a little sweet, actually. It tastes like crepe bread back in the US. Buttered on both sides with cheese on it. That's nice. I'm not sure what this little vial is. Let's see if I can get it off. I think it's honey though. Actually, I have no idea. Let's see if we can get the cheese paratha in there. Mm, and got a little cheese paratha. I hope you're, this is supposed to be edible. I'm sure it is. I'm it's in the not box. sure it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's honey. Not bad, but I like my cheese parathas or pizzas, whatever you're calling them these days. Parthenons like this. <laughs> Parthenons. <laughs> So we got a nice little snack down. Trying to try out the coffee here. Oh yeah. See that milk and coffee just stirring together? You can tell it's gonna be good. <sighs> Hitting the spot. You know, Luke and I probably should have split this brownie because look at how big that thing is. Mm -hmm. Ice cream, fudge or chocolate sauce on it. I guess this is our reward for surviving uh, having a gun up to us. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. That's doing the trick. The brownie's nice and warm. Mixed with that, uh, that ice cream just offers the perfect combination when you take a bite. Oh my god, that brownie was insanely good. Insanely good. Now we're going to wash it down with the coffee here. That is how we get the day started, guys. And poor Luke, he thought we were in the same order. The day get... hasn't begun for me yet. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't get any food, he just watched me devour the cheese paratha, the brownie, and now uh, sipping my coffee and the green smoothie. It's coming, it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you in just a little bit when we start exploring Basra. Cool, thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you too. All right, here we go. Let's go explore some of Basra. Salam alaikum. Yes. So we are in the taxi cruising over to the uh, markets here and um, I will say some of my first impressions here being in another city in Iraq proper there are like almost no military and police checkpoints compared to Baghdad where they were literally like once every block I don't know how much you could even see it in my videos because I was obviously trying not to film the military checkpoints too much in Baghdad but let me tell you this, they were everywhere. Like in the time that I started this sentence to right now, we would have already passed probably like maybe two or three of them. I would guess that means, just making an assumption here, that uh, you know maybe there's less risks down here. There's a lot of trash here, which, I, which we've seen in pretty much every neighborhood. At first I didn't say much about it, but now that we've been in like three different areas of Basra this morning, there's just, yeah, there's kind of just trash everywhere, which is a bit of a bummer. But that said, still, uh, still so far, it looks like a pretty cool city. So we're gonna head to this marketplace, spend some time walking around there and get a good feel for what this place is all about. Shukran Habibi. All right, we're arriving to the bazaar. Oh, we're gonna be able to do some serious clothes shopping over here by the looks of it. Oh, this is like my hat right here. The one that had a bird take a shit on it. Oh, this might be the one. Salam alaikum. How much? Uh, 500? 
Let's see how this looks on me. Trying to get one as close to the style as I had before. I'd say this one looks pretty similar. I have a weird shaped head, so you know sometimes I gotta make sure that it's, uh, it's pretty comfortable actually though. It's more comfortable than my last one. All right, I'd say it'll have to do. Let's see, we got a nice little mirror over here. Oh man, who is that guy in the head there? All right, I think that's good. <laughs> You're only charging me this much? You charged me double, you made me look better in this thing. All right, well that'll do. So uh, how much? I don't know if he's saying 500 or 5,000. I'd say 5,000. Otherwise 500 is a, a bargain. You got change, Habibi? All right, so 5,000 it is. Shukran, Habibi. Hopefully a bird doesn't shit on this one. I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Usually the lifespan of these hats that I have usually last about two months. In my last one I had the exact same hat. Flew off when I was on a boat in Egypt. The next one I had a bird take a jump on in Iraq, so we'll see. I feel like I'll probably lose this one in a country that I'm not going to announce, but I'll be there in November. Oh man, I'm going to need an extra suitcase. I'm going to be packing like my buddy Yad. You guys saw him in other videos. Multiple suitcases after running through this market. They've got lots and lots of selections of items. Shoes, boxers. Rings, I always buy new rings. I'm always looking for one ring that I've never been able to find and that's one with a world on it. Oh, there's the, the heartbeat. That's not what I'm looking for though. We'll keep her moving. Hey, salam alaikum. Oh, 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 you've got to get it. TikTok hat. How much for one of these? 5,000, ah, locked that's prices are on here. Yeah, what else we got? Oh, is this an authentic Louis Vuitton hat? Authentic, ah, so a nice one. Yeah, I might actually get this one too. Luke might have found me a second hat to buy. I do have a pretty big noggin though. That actually kind of looks good on you. Does it? Okay. Nice. Yeah? Nice. Sweet. Zion, sweet. Zion? Oh, sweet. Yeah. Zion? Zane. 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 Yeah. God, God. All right, let's see. Zane. I don't think the style fits me, brother. Shukran though. Yeah, one, one hat to start I'll have to do. Yeah, salam alaikum. Hey, nice people here. Nice people in Basra. Some nice looking shirts though. Tommy life. I think I'm buying this one. It kind of has like a bit of an Iraqi feel to it. Because I love the white shirts because they get so oh, yeah. dirty so quickly. <laughs> Habibi, this shirt? This one? Yeah, it's kind of hard to know whose store is whose. Yeah, yeah, we really don't know. Look at Luke's fresh shirt he just got. He's been looking Bob for a Bob Marley, Marley shirt. Returns. Since his, returns. his last Bob Marley shirt grew a pair of legs and left him in Lebanon. Yeah. So uh, now I'm thinking this one seems like the vibe. I will say it is super hot in this market because it's like midday. It's boiling in here. This shirt, how much? Ashla. Ashla, 10? Ashla. Oh, okay, that's it. Can I take my shirt off here? Uh, go maybe around the corner. <laughs> maybe or like hidden. hidden. Just to be cautious, you know? What do we think? How does oh. that fit? Show off the kebab? <laughs> <laughs> the tool. It fits nicely? Yeah? Yeah, that's good. You got a mirror? Oh, that's kind of a vibe. I can I big. can just feel that it ventilates well, right? Yeah, it does. It's like, kind of like... You see there, if you like stretch it apart a little bit, there's holes. So that means it's perfect for this market since it's already a little bit warm. The nips do show in there a little bit, but hey, can't have everything, right? <laughs> All right, 10K, I'd say that's a bargain. I'm not even gonna negotiate that one. Actually, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day today. Hey, make sure you take the tag off. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, out with the old, in with the new. We're both looking fresh in uh, our Basra tees. Yeah. Yalla. Nice looking shirts. Yeah. Shukran, shukran, Habibi. Habibi, yeah. you have a hundred dollar bill. Shukran, shukran. Today's a very successful market run. Shukran. I will say very rarely do I buy uh, two things within the first 30 minutes of arriving to a market. Usually I shop around, but they have uh, really good items here in Basra. So I am impressed and it's a pretty large market. I was just kind of like walking around through some of these alleyway or these uh, like little aisles through here. And they kind of go in every direction, so. This must be like the clothing, luggage area. We got shoes here. Quite a selection. What, what do we got over here? Oh, anything. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, actually, that's very nice. Oh, that's turkey? Oh, very nice. How much do you charge for one of these? This one, <laughs> yeah, needs normal. Need, need something a little bit more budget friendly. I'm on the backpackers budget. Ah, that's nice. This new. Ooh, the secret new, new of design, new, design. new designs. Oh, sweet. Yeah, these are pretty. Tr these are pretty trendy. If you dream it, you can do it. Oh, I love that. That's very nice. I do like the style here. Really, the Basra style is uh, is quite nice. And especially the air conditioning. What does this say down here? 
You are braver than you believe. You I really have, like the inspirational You have, you have Kobe, Kobe did this design. Oh, Kobe? Uh, yes. Uh, ah, Mike, nice. Uh, and the... Uh, cool, so. Uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's, yeah, let's check over here. What do you got over here, brother? All right. Oh, we're going through the little secret aisle. And voila, we're here. Oh, almost got ran over by a cart. Oh, we have shoes here. Oh, Kobe shoes. Oh, they're real. Ah, good price on shoes? Good price. Good price. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Yeah, it looks, looks like a good price. It's a, a good selection. I'm trying to see if there's any, any pairs I like. So far, I'm going to keep looking at the shirts, brother. What channel for you? How much is this? This is 50. Oh, expensive then. Yeah, that's expensive. This original, Thailand. Oh, from Thailand. Ah, this is Thailand. This picture, light picture on the night. Uh, blue. Yes, blue. Uh, how about uh, 25,000? 20? 20,000. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, for this and this? No, this uh, uh, price is down. Good price. So for this one and for this one, 20? Okay. Just, uh, what? Yala. Yes. Deal. Deal. I'll, I'll buy this for 20. Yeah. I want. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want four? Uh, this and this for 20. Hey. Okay. Okay. Try this on, see how it looks. Alright, step one. We'll get this one on, yeah? See how this fits. Oh, there we go. How's that? Okay, beautiful. Uh, roll up the sleeve, that's how I make it look extra fresh. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fit. Uh, let's, see, let's see how these fit. Getting the feet through there. It's a nice stretchy uh, material here. Zane, Zane material. <laughs> what about the, the blue one? You think this is better? Blue I Blue? Blue is better? Blue no, Fabio. You have uh, white. Oh, white? Yes, you have white. Oh, yeah, 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 white, white. White, nice. Yeah, I'd, I'd say white, because this kind of looks like a... Uh, white. Like a Netflix series, like I just got kind of jail. Oh, yeah, 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 hey, hey, hey. Here we go, I think yeah, the white's gonna do nice. So, yeah, so we'll try this one out. That is nice. That fits nicely. And let's try this one out. We've got this look. All right, so this is gonna look like this. Looking good. Oh, how do we look, Zane? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this Bengal. Bengal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. You got a deal. We'll take this one. I'd say, I'd say this one looks nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Same. Good. 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 Yeah, it's perfect. All right. Yeah. I think we're definitely getting this one. So we're getting it for uh, twenty thousand. So guys, we just got a uh, jumpsuit here for twenty thousand from our guys here. Shukran. Shukran. Yeah. Yeah. They, they took care. They uh, they got us a good deal. Shukran. Shukran, brother. Nice to meet you. Twenty thousand for the full jumpsuit Adidas. I'm pretty sure it's real. Uh, but uh, not entirely certain about that and so that's about I paid maybe $14 for it so good price and they hooked it up with some nice tea to finish it off Oh, yeah. oh we got him with a big old slab ski yeah it's getting intense here while we're shopping yeah, yeah not she, very tense yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that's like the regular in here yeah regular just slap yeah, slap your thing. friend yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah, the yeah. ah the shoes yeah. yeah he's looking to make a sale here real quick huh yeah he, yeah it's telling me go on get, uh, give him the shoes give him the shoes ah, yeah, 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 yeah yeah but i don't need shoes these shoes are nice no, shoes. they are like originals or something like this oh yeah yeah fresh from amazon.com yalla <laughs> <laughs> Shoe fuck. <laughs> All right, we're cruising to the marketplace now. Not sure where we're actually. Oh, that's a big bump. Not sure where we're actually going, but uh, I guess this is one way to go touring. Salam alaikum. Hey, salam alaikum. Hey, hey, we're going cruising. Come yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah, come. Thank you for the ride, Habib. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, thank you, my brother. No, that was fun. Just hopped on the moped and they took us for cru for a quick little cruise through here. <laughs> fun cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They dropped me off at the other shop. <laughs> thank you all. Shukran. Shukran. Thank you. Shukran. 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 
Thank you. I'd say that was quite a successful market run. Probably the most that I bought at a market in the last few countries. Got multiple shirts, a pair of pants, a new hat. I probably dropped a solid like 50,000 Iraqi dinar in there. Burned through some cash today. So not bad. Now uh, Luke's trying to uh, go on a hunt here for some authentic, original Iraqi dinar. Some of the real stuff. With, With a, a, uh, a questionable person's face on it. Get one as a souvenir, so we'll see. It's interesting though, over, over here though, uh, place is a little beat up in this area. It smells though. Uh, yeah, it does not great. smell great. Got a cross here. And I will say, from earlier in this video, Luke pointed out this is probably a nice and ventilated shirt. I already feel like four or five Celsius cooler in this thing. The wind just goes right through it, so it's nice. All right, Luke had success. He uh, was able to get his hands on one of these old bills back during uh, Saddam Hussein's reign. It's a bit of a process, but he got got a hold of it. Paid about 10000 for it, so about $7 to get his hands on that bill along with some other torn up bill. I think you can pay a lot less, but we were yeah. just having major miscommunication yeah. with, uh, with what I wanted. So I was like, trade 10,000 for this. Yeah. And I think for 10,000 you can get like a whole stack. Yeah, you got, you got a great deal because the guy had a huge smile on his face when he handed him the 10. That was great. Salam. Not sure what they're being, they're uh, yelling at us, but drop it in the comments below if you know. All right, let's continue cruising. Yeah guys, so we ended up walking into the other side of the market. I didn't realize how actually massive this place is because we were in that whole other area for probably like a solid hour shopping in there. And this side of the market seems like there's a lot more like kitchen appliances, still a fair bit of clothing, sunglasses, lots of rings I've seen here too. Plus uh, some bakery sweets, lots of traditional good bakery sweets. I'm gonna grab one of these here real quick, Luke. What's, uh, what's a good one to get? You have uh, baklava, baklava, yeah. plate. You know, you can't leave the market without at least getting some sort of sweet, even though I had that brownie, so like, I'm gonna have a solid belly after this, but uh, worth it to try out a little baklava. How much? 3,000? Is that seven? Uh, no, no bag. Shukran. All right, no change. Shukran. So we're gonna try out one of these baklavas. This is definitely an Iraqi version. I've never seen it with the green stuff in it. Almost smells like there's peanut butter in it. Let me try and grab that side from over here. Give it a solid bite here. That is very sweet, rich. Mm. I feel like it's made with some sort of like peanut butter oil. But wow, that is uh, rich in flavor, I would say. It's nice and warm too, which adds a nice chew to it. It's got a bit, a bit of a crunch up top and then, mm. Zane. He's had the uh, baklava from Turkey, so let's see how he compares it to the uh, Iraqi baklava. Oh, it wants him to double down, it looks like. Sticky ass. Yeah. Sticky ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think there is peanut butter in there. There is, yeah? Yeah. I was going to say, I thought I could taste it. Tastes it tastes like it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Super sweet. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's the spot, I'd say. What's the, what's the green stuff? Yeah, she knows the lola baklava. She knows <laughs> you don't know the word? I don't know. Oh, that's all right. Well, I can tell you, whatever it is, it just it's made solid. very well. It's just solid. Mm. Wow. Mm. wow. Very good. Zane. Mm hmm. Yeah, shukran. Habibi. Shukran. Habibi. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys, and I believe this is where we're going to go ahead and end today's video. My overall first impressions of this place are that they're very welcoming to the tourists. People really don't mind when we're filming much at all. I don't think there's been a single instance where someone was like, don't film. So that's been great. And uh, there's yeah, so many shops, delicious food. And there's gonna be a lot more stuff we're checking out when we're exploring Basra in the next couple videos. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those. And if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's video.